In this video, consider the following oblique triangle with vertices A, B, C, where the side length A is given as 2, the side length B is given as 6, and then the angle measurement of A is given as 30 degrees. I should mention that this is the side-side angle situation, the so-called ambiguous case. Uh, so we want to solve the remaining sides of this triangle. We notice because we have angle A and we have side length A that we have an AOS, an angle opposite side pair. Whenever you have an AOS, this indicates to us we probably want to use the law of sines to help us solve uh, for the remaining sides of this triangle. In particular, we're going to compare the AOS A with the AOS of B, which we have the side length B, but we don't have angle B. So using the law of sines, we're going to take sine of B over little b, and that's going to equal sine of A over little a. And we want to solve for angle B right here. Um, to do that, of course, you can times both sides by little b. So you get sine of b is equal to b over a times sine of a. And then put in the information we have. b is 6, little a is 2, sine of 30 degrees. Now, sine of 30 degrees, that's, of course, 1 half. Uh, 2 goes into 6 exactly 3 times. Sine of 30 degrees is 1 half, like I said. And so we end up with sine of b is equal to 3 halves, or 1.5 if you prefer the decimal there. This already might set off red flags for many of us here, because like, wait, sine of b equals 1.5? I thought you said earlier that sine um, is bounded between negative 1 and 1. Is it, shouldn't it be true that sine of b is less than one, less than or equal to 1 and greater than negative 1? Yes, that's true. It doesn't matter what the angle is. The range of the sine function is between negative 1 and 1. Sine can never exceed uh, 1 in its size. So it turns out this is not possible. Sine of b could not equal 1.5 here whatsoever. Now, if you didn't recognize that immediately, it's not a big deal. The next step you naturally would do is you'd be trying to compute sine, or b equals sine inverse of 3 halves or 1.5 on your calculator. And then your calculator would give you some type of error of some kind, like D and E, like does not exist. Uh, it's undefined. Sine inverse of 3 halves is undefined. And so when you try to compute the sine ratio and you get something that's too big or too small or your calculator tells you sine inverse doesn't exist for that value, that's an indicator that there is, in fact, no solution to solving this triangle. There is no triangle that satisfies the conditions that A is 2, B is 6, and angle A is 30 degrees. So this gives us an example of the ambiguous case that has no solution given side-side angle.